It takes science. It takes science. Experimenting with the mysteries of electronics. Continual research. Philip Imogwali was born in Akure, Nigeria, August 23, 1954. His early schooling was suspended in 1967 because of the Nigerian Civil War. At 13 years old, he served in the Biaframe Army. After the war, he completed high school equivalents through self-study. During his early years in school, Philip showed a proficiency in mathematics. His father encouraged him to continue his education and even tried to tutor him until Philip knew more than he did. Back in 1989, one of the science news headlines was that an African supercomputer wizard in the United States had experimentally discovered how and why parallel processing makes computers faster. The success of this record-breaking experiment meant that there was now a practical and inexpensive way to use machines like this to speak to each other all over the world. The discovery earned him the Institute of Electronics and Electrical Engineers Gordon Bell Prize in 1989, which is considered to be the Nobel Prize of Computing. We have to teach our children the true history of Africa and the contributions of their ancestors to humanity. Dear Igbo, ancient haters, in as much as I do not speak for the current modern Igbos that represent the current Europeans due to colonization and via theories, fixed histories being created to the conquerors in as much that I do not represent the current modern Igbos. It does not mean that I will not speak the real truth about some amazing, talented, modern black beings that has done amazing contributions to the civilization in this earth. Philip M. Aguali invented the internet and super computer, not Nikweno. I do not care about the news of Ni Queno. I do not care about the politics of the current European world. My final stand are Philip Eme Aguali. He is the father of the world internet. I represent the ancient Igbos not modern European Igbos, but I must speak the real truth to the world. The modern Europeans and Americans and even the centuries of Americans and the Europeans have not the human knowledge the we know the simplicity of spiritual wisdom of their past ancestors above all they are only but a tiny piece of the mighty one word of the ancient Igbo. <laughs>